The U.S. has announced charges against WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange just hours after he was taken into custody in London. Assange was dragged from the Ecuadorian embassy where he's been for the last seven years. His arrest came after Ecuador dropped his asylum status, essentially evicting him from the embassy. The U.S. has requested Assange be extradited, and British authorities have confirmed he was placed under arrest on behalf of U.S. law enforcement. Now, there are also multiple reports that Assange was actually found guilty by a U.K. K judge of skipping bail. He faces a maximum sentence of 12 months in prison on that charge. Ellen Nakashima joins us now. She's a national security reporter for The Washington Post. Ellen, thank you so much for joining us. Um, so let's get into what uh, Assange is facing. He's accused of uh, conspiring with former NSA contractor. Well, and it, uh, actually, Chelsea Manning wasn't an NSA contractor. She, Chelsea Manning was um, an army. She was in the army. She uh, yeah, was in the army. Part of the military, right? The um, so uh, Chelsea Manning <laughs> conspiring with her to publish secret military documents. What more do we know about what exactly Assange is accused of doing? Uh, he's, he's charged with one count of conspiring to commit computer intrusion, or that is to help Chelsea Manning attempt to crack a password to allow her to get into a classified DOD network under a, a, a different identity or name so as to hide her tracks and attempt to get access to these classified documents uh, hiding her true identity. So, all right, yeah, so there's, ahead, there's no evidence that it was successful, however. There's, there's no evidence in the indictment to suggest that uh, Assange was successful in cracking that password. In fact, I think he wasn't. So the documents that Chelsea Manning managed to take is, so are we saying, are, are, are authorities basically saying that Chelsea Manning got those sort of on her own, but then there yes. were additional documents that perhaps Julian, Julian Assange was attempting to get as well? Yes, uh, the indictment says that prior to Assange trying to help crack the password, Manning had already uh, passed over hundreds of thousands of documents to Assange, even without having cracked the password. So what, what I find really interesting, Ellen, is the discussion that we were having earlier with Michael Morell, who's a former deputy director of the CIA, uh, mm -hmm. which is... Uh, how WikiLeaks got its hands on all this information? Uh, was it provided to them by the Russians? And if it was provided to them by the Russians, was it the Russian intelligence operatives that were giving them this information? That's the first question. And then the uh, argument that they've always made, which is that they are journalists, that they're uh, doing journalism, where uh, Michael right. Morell says, no, this doesn't appear to be journalism. This is acting right. as a foreign entity, a foreign uh, agent. But I think it's important to clarify, too, when we talk about Russians, we're not talking about Chelsea Manning. No, we're no. talking about the Correct. accusations the that have to do with um, yeah, meddling so, in the 2016 election. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, the charge against uh, Julian Assange at this point has nothing to do with the 2016 election or Russian interference or WikiLeaks dump of uh, hacked DNC emails. It has, uh, it is it's only in relation to the 2010 uh, release of, of DOD classified uh, materials and State Department cables. So that happened years ago, right? Uh, six years before the 2016 election. Uh, what I think Michael Morell is referring to in uh, the case of the 2016 election and then even beyond that, uh, WikiLeaks put out um, hacked uh, or, or stolen um, hacking tools from the CIA, put them up online, and that was also, uh, you know, a breach of classified information, which led uh, then uh, CIA Director Pompeo to call WikiLeaks a hostile uh, intelligence or foreign intelligence yeah. agency or service, seeming to try to um, draw a connection or a distinction between uh, an organization like WikiLeaks and a journalistic organization like the New York Times or the Washington Post. It's really interesting. It, yeah, it, it, it really is. I presume that will be part of the defense uh, should Absolutely. he arrive here. So if, he, if he's extradited, do we have any idea sort of how long that could take and what he'll face once he gets here? Oh, that could take, the process is um, often lengthy, it could take months, sometimes years, uh, and, and uh, Assange's lawyers will be, uh, are ex you know, expected to mount a very vigorous uh, 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 fight against his extradition. There 
already lawyers are saying, look, I'm drawing, making the case that WikiLeaks is is a journalistic organization, and to attempt to prosecute him uh, is is a, sets a bad precedent for freedom of the press. Mm -hmm. So you can already sort of see for the arguments they're going to start to make. They want to turn that into a, a political um, argument uh, internationally. Uh, and, and so the Justice Department is being very careful to try to avoid charges that can be seen as um, politically motivated, such as charging him with violation of the Espionage Act. We don't see any such charge here. Mm -hmm. We see is this um, charge that's more related to computer hacking, uh, which is one way they hope to avoid the entanglement with the First Amendment you, issue. You know, Ellen, when. Uh, when the Justice Department began investigating WikiLeaks and Assange, it was under the Obama administration. It was Eric Holder. It was a different administration. We've all been watching the new Attorney General testify uh, before Congress over the past couple of days. Clearly, this is a, a different type of Attorney General and a different administration. You know, how do you think Julian Assange will fare, or does any of that even matter? Yeah, look, I do think under this administration uh, and this Justice Department, the um, I think the the uh, they are being a more aggressive or, or for, forward leaning in um, in pro in in exploring or probing the area that uh, you know there's a difference between say WikiLeaks and uh, and a traditional journalistic organization. Uh, there, look, under the previous administration, the Obama administration, they brought more leak prosecutions than in all prior administrations combined. So they were also no slouches when it came to uh, <clears throat> leaks. But this administration is also, I, I think, showing more willingness to um, to to even try to take on a prosecution of Assange, even if they may run into challenges with the First Amendment. All right, really fascinating details there. Uh, Ellen Nakashima at The Washington Post, thanks for your reporting. We appreciate it. Thank you.